Learning Arduino with Fritzing Starter Kit by and with Stefan Hermann. So a very interesting thing in the Arduino environment is Fermata. Fermata consists of two parts and it's actually something like the interconnection to a software. Fermata is an Arduino program which is running on the Arduino board and it has different libraries for different softwares, for example for processing or for Flash. You can get Fermata from Arduino.cc Playground Interfacing Processing and that's a Fermata library for processing. In the Arduino software you have first to go to the examples and then to the Fermata and here you will find the standard Fermata. Uh, I use a Fermata for Arduino Uno 3 and that's a program code. It even has some libraries behind and I will now upload it to the Arduino board. And now I don't have to make any changes in the software anymore. Now I can simply go to processing and I place the downloaded library in the library folder of processing and now I can go to examples and find now under this point uh, contributed libraries the point Arduino and there are some some example programs in there so I will open Arduino output and here is the Arduino input okay so let's start with the Arduino output program it's a program um, to control the to switch on and off the output channels from the software so I will run this program and this is my little software window and here I have some squares which I can switch on and off so now I don't have to make any change in the Arduino software anymore I can just change a program code which is not running on the Arduino because on the Arduino there is now running the Fermata software and I can control it from processing directly. So that's quite easy. Let's take a look into the code. What happens here is that I connect now the Arduino in the setup. In processing it's a little bit like uh, in Arduino there is a setup and a second method which is not called loop but draw. What we have here is the declaration of this or the construction of this new Arduino and it got the parameter um, of the level in the programming code, this is here, and where the Arduino is connected. So if you have problems with connection, then you have to change this value here. On a Mac it's quite easy, it's always uh, zero. On a PC it's um, actually the last COM port. So if you take a look at the output, Arduino list, then you can see which entry um, equals your Arduino board and you just can change the number here. And the connection speed, if you remember we had the serial 9600, here we have uh, 57600, so that's much faster communication speed. And here um, you maybe remember, or I hope you remember, the Arduino code pin mode. Um, it's the same here. So we have our Arduino object and we uh, call the method pin mode and we declare the pin. So all pins actually from 0 to 12, no from 0 to 13. And we say each pin is an output, Arduino.output is declaring that. And here in this mouse pressed method, which is called every time a mouse button is pressed, the values are transferred to the Arduino with this Arduino.digitalWrite um, pin number and Arduino.high. So Arduino.high is the value we send. It's a little bit more complicated like in Arduino. It's not only high or low, but it's Arduino.high, Arduino.low. But the command digital write is again the same. It's quite easy. 
Okay, and that's it. So that's the whole program what is running. And we can control our Arduino out of the processing software. This episode was brought to you by fritzing.org, the free and open software for project documentation, sharing and PCB layout creation. Check out our PCB fabrication service Fritzing Fab. With the purchase of Fritzing products, you actively support the development of the Fritzing software. For more Arduino related questions, go to arduino.cc forum. Thanks for watching.